Good morning again, everyone. This is Nick Petro at the National Weather Service in Raleigh with your weekly impact weather briefing for Central North Carolina. This weather briefing covers the period today. Uh, that should say Monday. Apologize for that. Monday through Sunday through the um, 5th of March. And uh, this weather briefing here um, is, uh, you know, one of the, the days that we're most concerned about will be Wednesday. And I'll get to that in a minute here. But um, we've got high pressure off to our east that um, is going to help bring warm weather uh, or warm air continuing to our area. Uh, during the midweek period, we have a pretty potent cold front that's approaching, and that will set the stage for breezy to windy conditions during the day Wednesday and perhaps around the severe thunderstorms Wednesday night. Again, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, high pressure will build back across for the late week period and even the weekend, so we're looking at dry weather basically from Thursday right through the weekend. Uh, it's, it'll be more normal-like temperatures come Thursday and Friday, and then things warm back up again over the weekend. So all in all, the big weather day, I think, is going to be Wednesday, and, and that's reflected on the severe thunderstorm potential slide here. This is courtesy of the Storm Prediction Center, and you can see, um, you know, really no problems Monday and Tuesday, but Wednesday is the concern day. Uh, we are highlighted, most of central North Carolina is highlighted in the slight risk uh, category from the uh, Storm Prediction Center. And basically what that means, um, that means scattered severe thunderstorms are possible, and um, you know, uh, and, and with this particular event, let me drill down a little bit deeper, and I'll give you some more details here on the next slide, uh, this particular slide right here. Um, these images show uh, simulated radar, and that is what the radar may look like. It's, it's a, uh, a radar prediction, if you will, at the indicated times, and they're shown to provide a sense of timing. So what time can we expect these storms rather than uh, intensity. So uh, the big takeaways here, and, and, and before we even get to those severe thunderstorms uh, Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, we are expecting windy conditions during the afternoon Wednesday out ahead of the thunderstorms. Uh, so we may in fact, uh, we may need a wind advisory for the daytime Wednesday. Um, so, so keep that in mind. But uh, we are expecting those strong thunderstorms to affect the western Piedmont and Triad regions during the very early evening hours, um, the central Piedmont and Triangle regions during the later evening hours, and then the early overnight period for the I-95 corridor and coastal plains. So that's the timeline for when we could see severe thunderstorms. And with those severe thunderstorms, the main threat will be straight line winds, damaging straight line winds. And typically with damaging straight line winds, the type of damage that we see is tree damage, blown trees, uh, trees blown over, and then perhaps even subsequent ground level structural or car damage as those trees fall on things. Um, and then sometimes, obviously, that results in numerous power outages as well. So that's, that's kind of the character of the threat that we're expecting uh, late in the day on Wednesday and Wednesday night is uh, straight line potential for damaging straight line winds. So power outages and maybe some structural damage uh, um, depending on the extent to which uh, there is tree damage. Uh, other than that, um, we'll see uh, frequent cloud to ground lightning and perhaps even some hail with these storms. Um, torrential downpours, uh, even though these storms are going to be moving very quickly, uh, do keep in mind that even a short burst of torrential rain could result in localized poor drainage flooding. And I will point out, this system is not one, the setup for this system rather, is not one that typically results in tornadoes, but you know, we can never rule them out, you know, gustnado type damage, that sort of thing. But uh, this is not a big tornado producing storm system. Uh, the type of damage we would expect would be mostly straight line winds. And also, again, just a safety note there, you know, even, even with straight line winds and severe thunderstorm warnings, the best place to be is in an interior room on the lowest floor of the building that you are in. So uh, anyway, that's a closer look at uh, late in the day, Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Keep in mind, even ahead of the storms on Wednesday, it'll be pretty breezy and maybe even windy at times uh, during the afternoon. All right, so uh, rainfall-wise, nothing today, maybe some uh, spotty showers during the day tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, we're looking at most places seeing uh, maybe a quarter to a half inch and then dry from Thursday right through the weekend. So a half inch of rain is probably what most people will see across central North Carolina uh, during the course of the week, most of that falling on Wednesday. Looking ahead to next week, here is the 8 to 14 day outlook for temperature and precipitation. And the odds are, are not favoring one or the other for both temperature and precipitation. Um, but that's different than what we had been, which is above normal. So uh, perhaps a little bit more uh, what we would expect, uh, normally expect uh, this time of year for next week. Let's wrap this up here with a summary. Showers and isolated thunderstorms are possible 
uh, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, but the best chance is Wednesday night. So uh, showers and thunderstorm risk will be highest Wednesday night, and some of those storms Wednesday evening and night may become severe. Primary threat of damaging wind gusts. I also point out that windy conditions are expected during the afternoon Wednesday out ahead of the thunderstorms. Well, we may need a wind advisory for that time. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, well above normal temperatures will continue until that cold front moves through Wednesday night. And then dry weather with near normal temperatures Thursday and Friday. Fair weather, warming temperature trends over the weekend. So uh, really when you summarize that all, dry weather Thursday through the weekend. Again, uh, the main uh, hazard weather-wise and main impact weather-wise will be uh, Wednesday, uh, particularly late in the day and Wednesday night with the risk for severe thunderstorms. Finally, let me just once again remind folks that next week, March 5th through 11th, 2017, is Severe Weather Preparedness Week for North Carolina. The statewide tornado drill is Wednesday, March 8th at 9.30 a.m. Everyone is encouraged to to take advantage of this opportunity to practice what you would do if a tornado warning is issued. Again, tornado drill, statewide tornado drill, Wednesday, March 8th, 9.30. Again, all schools are, are highly encouraged to attend. I think most will be. But also businesses, um, workplaces, uh, any type of organization, uh, even people, individuals at home should participate in this drill and again, take time to, to practice what you would do if a tornado warning was issued. More details about Severe Weather Preparedness Week here in North Carolina are available at the website you see listed on this uh, uh, slide here, weather.gov slash RAH slash 2017 NCSWPW for North Carolina Severe Weather Preparedness Week. So uh, with that, that is the uh, weekly briefing.